Hello, and welcome to another episode in our Crack the Case series. My name is Onyema Obuagu, and I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine and the Director of Antivirals and Vaccines Research Program in the Yale AIDS Program of the Section of Infectious Disease of Yale University School of Medicine. Today, I'm joined by my colleague, Dr. Natasha Buyan, who is an Assistant Clinical Professor in Family, Community, and Preventive Medicine at the University of Arizona in Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome, Natasha. Hi, Onemia. Thank you so much for having me. Now, over the next few months, we'll be posting a series of these short CME certified videos focused on the management of patients with COVID-19 in the outpatient setting. This activity is jointly provided by the National Jewish Health and Bonham CE. This program has been supported by an educational grant from Pfizer. Now, if you haven't already completed your pre-survey, please do so by clicking the link below this video or by scanning the QR code shown here. Let us know who you are in the polling questions below. Also, please be sure to complete your evaluation at the end of the session and claim your CME credits and watch our handles for additional COVID-19 CME programming. If you're looking for more CME certified programs on Twitter, please follow us at Bonham CE. So Natasha, what can you tell us about this patient? Our case is a 66-year-old Black female with sore throat, fever, malaise, and dry cough starting three days ago. Her COVID-19 antigen home test was positive for SARS-CoV-2. Her medical history includes controlled hypertension, AFib, type 2 diabetes, cataracts, osteoarthritis, and hyperlipidemia. Her EGFR was 70 mils per min. For medications, she's taking amlodipine, apixaban, atorvastatin, dulaglutide, and over-the-counter naproxen. In terms of her vaccination history, she had two mRNA COVID vaccines one year ago, but has gotten no boosters and no influenza immunizations this season. Her vital signs and physical examination are unremarkable. What are the next steps in managing her care? Would you recommend an antiviral? And if so, which one? Stay tuned tomorrow for answers. We would like to thank you so much for joining us today. Please be sure to join us here tomorrow where we discuss our findings and how we would manage this patient.